Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Already, it's not even up to one week that uh, Wiki was sworn in as the FCT minister and he has started making good of his threat to demolish buildings. You guys would not believe it, but let's take a look at the details. Wiki Storm's sin of collapsed building in Abuja in six structures without approval will go down. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yosom Wiki, was present at the scene of a collapsed building in Gaki 2, Abuja, on Thursday, that is today. Newsroom Nigeria recalls that a two-story building housing many businesses, many business centers, went down around 10 p.m. on Wednesday. Addressing journalists at the incident scene on Thursday morning, Wiki reiterated his earlier comment that buildings without proper approval within the nation's capital would be pulled down. This is what we are saying any building without approval will go down we don't eat anybody all we are saying is the proper thing should be done he said you know everybody everybody is just shouting that uh, we can we can ask them or we can this so we can that one or we can this so we can that one or. but in actual reality we is actually doing the right thing because like, why would you use substantial uh, products, you know, to erect your buildings? And at the end of the day, this building will collapse, you know, and kill people, you know, kill families. We've heard about different incidents of, you know, that that has happened in Lagos here, you know, where six-story buildings will just, you know, collapse like that. Eight-story buildings will just collapse like that. The one that happened at uh, Izi Koyi. You know, and several others like that. And I think that the federal, the government, federal and state government should, you know, do something about this. It's high time. It's high time. You know, buildings or a uh, landlord who do not have approval, you know, to erect buildings, government should go there and pull down this building. This is just the, it's just the bitter truth. But I guess someone needs to say it. You know, the other day, on the day of a swearing-in, we know how Wiki can be, but, you know, that is exactly the kind of person that uh, Tinubu wants to be the minister of Abuja, you know. Just on the day of a swearing-in, he said it himself that, you know, he's going to go after people who do not have the C of O. Like, is it right for you to have your building and not have C of O? We all know that the economy is, you know, bad and things are not going well for a lot of people. But at the same time, it's just the right thing. Like, people should try and do the right thing. Most people that just come to Nigeria because we are citizens here and we just think, oh, it's, it's the norm. It's the normal thing not to follow rules and regulation. When the same people go outside the country, when they travel outside the country, they start being prime and proper. They start following rules and regulation to the T. But we, these same people, when we are in our own country, we don't want to follow rules and regulations. We see anybody, any government officials, you know, trying to make us do the right thing as bad people. Of course, I don't blame, I don't blame us because it's just like everything, everything is rotten in this country. So, you know, it's like a corrupt government official who is trying to make people do the right thing. And you are in your office embezzling millions of naira. So what do you expect? So people do this because I just feel it boils down to the fact that we do not, you know, respect these political officials because they don't even respect themselves. Let's be honest to start with. 
they do not respect themselves you know they steal money they steal government funds and people just say that just believe that oh if you're in your office stealing money why do i have to still do the right thing why do I, why do we have to you know because it's always the masses always suffering the bond people who steal billions of naira do not go to prison but you know just carry goods <laughs> the other day i was listening to a radio program where someone who stole goods was sentenced to how many years in prison and i'm like what's the worth of the goods in the first place <laughs> this nigeria now why you all let me have your thoughts in the comment section what do you all think about this because i feel even if wiki was just blabbing on the swearing in day with this uh, building collapse that happened yesterday night now it would even push him the more to want to you know demolish buildings let's take a look at um, a few reactions we got online famo Kunro says how Rufai did is and they called him a short man devil now is wiki's time so what do we call him a tall for nothing idiot i believe is this a tone for demolition don't we have structures like that in rivers and was never demolished till now what a bad way to start his administration mm. anderson william says fool only what he knows double g says it seems the only work of the FCT minister is to ensure adherence to the master plan. Or oh, what else do they really do? Hmm. Kelvin says, make on a leave, leave na Abuja in the, in the, those Awusa men go knock something, make in the Momo fake wiki. Hmm. <laughs> Lastly, Yahaya Afsis Afisad says, We can a god of El Rufai go protect you from the illiterate citizen that doesn't know demolition has to happen before putting modern structures in place. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section, like I said. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do all to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.